Hi, and welcome to Coding Over 40. My name is Patricia. This is a video blog of my journey that I started last October uh, in 2013 of learning how to code over the age of 40. The pros about learning how to code over the age of 40 is that we Generation Xers are the first and only generation that early adopted and actually grew up in the technology world. So what I mean by that is we were your first uh, Atari beta testers, your television beta testers. We played Pong when we were eight years old. So we kind of have a heart and soul for programming and technology in general. And when I took a look last year at a company that I'd been working for for six years and was not happy any longer, I realized that in San Francisco, the best way to make use of my knowledge and make use of my generational uh, skills was to take a, if you can't beat them, join them attitude, and that's what I did. So back in October of last year, I started, just like most of you did probably, um, with Coursera, um, some other MOOCs, and I actually started at the beginning with a Stanford class um, online, a Stanford MOOC, and it was programming Carol the robot, and that was pretty basic um, computer science, and I had a great time, and from then I decided that I was going to start taking more MOOCs because that was uh, more applicable to my schedule. Um, I do have a full-time job, like I said, so learning to program for somebody like me or for somebody over the age of 40 or just for somebody who's not of college age can be a challenge due to time and I've found that challenge and you'll hear a lot about it in upcoming blogs. Anyways, I did start with the MOOCs and then from there I started going to meetups and I went to Women Who Code meetups and I went to Girl Develop It meetups. Um, I felt that I wanted to be around women at the beginning because I know that this programming world can be a little harsh and uh, for women in general and so I just wanted to kind of ease in without feeling um, that I was dumb or I didn't know what I was doing because um, anybody doesn't want to feel that way and so that's pretty much where I started. Uh, through those resources and my meetups with Girl Develop It and Women Who Code, um, I started taking classes and or courses if you want to call them at Code Academy. Code School, Khan Academy, GA, um, and there's many other resources out there, but those are the places I started. Um, and basically just kept doing that. And at some point I got overwhelmed because I did not realize that there were different languages and different programming languages for what it was that you wanted to do. Um, I was a hardcore beginner with programming. I mean, I can play a video game like nobody's business, I'll beat you at Galaga, but had no idea how that video game was put together or how a website was put together. So um, I got some good advice from my friend Jason, who's in the tech world, and he told me to get a mentor. So I asked him to be my mentor and he said, okay. So with that, um, he kind of helped me pare it down a little bit and I decided to just start with JavaScript. So I went to a Women Who Code JavaScript meetup for about three months, learned the basics of JavaScript, and then continued on with uh, Code Academy and Code School and GA. Um, I went to a few HTML, CSS courses, and again, started getting way overwhelmed. Um, and so again, had to go ahead and pare it down. And I feel like that's going to be my general track here is wanting to know it all, trying to learn it all, and then getting really overwhelmed and having to be brought down to earth, which brings me to my second mentor, who um, I hooked up with via another meetup, and that's Wendy Hayes. And she basically helped me realize what my dream job would be looking like and how I could get there. And from there, she hooked me up with another mentor named Cheryl Marquez. So with these three wonderful mentors and my do-it-yourself Generation X attitude, I decided to learn to code over 40. So that's my blog, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks.